Greetings, Lego friends. How's everybody doing today? Just a quick update on the mock hospital. I think I've got the third floor pretty well arranged now. So let's check it out. Kabam! Oh, yeah. Check that out. Yep, made quite a few changes here, as you can see. Starting down here. I realized I really want my hospital, uh, especially with lighting, I want you to be able to see as much as you can. So I've changed quite a bit. As you recall, I had these as tan two by two bricks going all the way up. And I remembered that I grabbed a bunch of these at a pick a brick um, quite a while ago. So uh, yeah, changed all of those out for the elevator. And then I decided uh, if I'm gonna have an overhang for where the ambulance would come in, I will make that out of clear um, windows like this if I can, and these as supports so it doesn't block a lot of this. And then, very happy because I wanted to add something from the new hospital into this one. And I thought, well, maybe I can do it way down the road after I get it laid out in my city. And then, uh, nope, I couldn't wait. So there it is. I made this little fine filler. Look at that. It's a little addition to the uh, birthing suite. Oh, -ho. got some water in there. Got some yummy cookies. Got some little toys for the toddlers to play with uh, in there. Got some flowers. Very nice. And then Blinky Bricks um, sent me a couple of these. Actually, I, bu I bought these two from Blinky Bricks. Solid connector lights. So that baby just goes right on there, lock it, and gives you some light in there. But I'll do a, a lighting uh, video for the whole thing um, later because I'm going to add wireless contacts again, uh, this time out here, right here for this third floor. Um, so that'll be cool. Um, but I thought this is um, good enough for this. I didn't want to um, do um, wire a wired light going from here to here because this roof is going to lift off by itself and I don't want wires to be dragged around um, with that. Ooh, I spilled water. Oh, okay, not really. Uh, all right, so got some lights in there and I don't, um, I'm never uh, going to have lights like sitting on for any great length of time in any part of um, you know, of this hospital, but sometimes I'm going to want to light up the whole city at night. And, uh, you know, that'll look cool. So, yep, there's our birthing suite there. We've got the CT scanner there. We've got that hospital bed. I have a video on how to make that, which I linked from uh, someone else on YouTube, I think it was, that made that hospital bed. I went ahead and made a couple of these, added a light here as well. Uh, you know, a Lego light, if you will. So yeah, on this ceiling, we'll have the wireless contact and on the roof panel, which is here, we will have blinky bricks, a couple of light bars at least on each side um, to light up this area and this area here. So that's it. That's how we're living today. Third floor almost done. And yes, this will sit a little higher than this uh, ceiling and I'm okay with that. That's kind of the style of the new hospital as well. These are almost staggered in height. Um, so yeah, I like that. More details to come, but I think as far as what's in this uh, third floor area, I think I'm pretty much done. I will not tile this whole thing. I'm, I'd have a hard time tiling every modular inside when they're just going to be covered up, you know, and you're not going to see them. And tiles are kind of a premium, aren't they? Um, yeah. So I probably won't be doing that. So that's it. What do you think? You guys working on a mock hospital? You got to have one. You got to have a, a hospital in your city. Uh, you know, you, you got a skate park. You better have the hospital. Probably want a school. I'm definitely looking forward to building a church and a graveyard along with the church. That'll be a good October project. So that's it for today. Really appreciate your support. Thanks for stopping by. We'll catch you on the next one.